Hello everyone, this is Shelby with Shelby Creations. Welcome back to the Dragon Stand. It is a beautiful cold morning here today. Uh, we got this far in the cover and all I want to do is finish it up. So I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. So I went into, let me pull it out here because I've got it in my drawer here on my desk. I went into my box and you know this is one I'm I pull from of course I've got six drawers over there full of lace and I did find where is it I did find a couple of other little pieces so that if I wanted to do more than just one of those as an applique but these have pearls on them I don't think this one does but these are bits and pieces that I got, and you see the neckline and going towards the arm. Uh, lace from a shirt. I bought it at one of the charity shops. I don't know whether it was Goodwill or what, but I paid like two, three dollars for it, if that. Most of them are a dollar and a half. But you get a lot of lace from those. But that came out of this box. And I was looking for something else and could not find it. So then I started going through my tower over there. And I pulled a bit more than what I needed, I think. But I did find some that I do want to use. So I'm going to scoot this over. We'll talk about all this when I get this done. I even refilled my glue bottle, which emptied out another bottle of Fabri-Tac. So... I've got a new one on standby here. And what I try to do is when I open up, yeah, because I've still got the seal on this one. When I open up one, if I do not have another one set of, yeah, another one on the sidelines or in my drawer, I that's when I buy another one. And I that way I always have one. But I think for Christmas this year I'm gonna ask for Fabri-Tac, and what I pulled was two pieces. This one to go along here, and then the blue one to go around the bottom. I know some of you are thinking, oh, that's not gonna look right, but it will, it will. So I'm just gonna trim that off. And let me make sure I've got where I think I need. I'm going to trim this little end off here, too. So that'll go along the edge. Because when you're gluing fabric and lace and stuff, it does take quite a bit of glue. Now, I'm going, as you can see, just sort of dabbing it on one side and then the other on the edge of this going all the way down. All right, that's a little loose there. I'm going to come back under here with just a little bit of glue to tighten that down. Now, make sure I got the right side here. Right like that. That's just the way I want it. To where I can see, you know, the background through the little holes. Uh, it's supposed to have ribbon that goes through it. Or the option that you can put ribbon through it. But I don't really want to do that. Get it to where glue's not too tacky. Because I don't want it to stick to my board come down here on this side and let me measure this out goes to here now if it's not exact I am not going to worry with it because that blue that I found will take care of these edges you notice I went ahead and trimmed off the overhang we had at the front of this. 
Yeah, that was on one end. That was the top of the book. Yeah. Put some of that so it goes through that place and holds that down. Make sure I've got it going the right way and place it just like we did last one. Just like we did the other side. There. Now, we've got that. So we've got that one. I think that looks pretty good. Now what I wanna do is I want to put this blue right along my edge. And yes, you're going to see some of the white over here, but it's okay. But, and I want this top and bottom. So, or bottom top, whichever is which right now. I don't know. And it doesn't really matter if you're putting this, put some under there. Make sure it tack sound good underneath it. I'm going to do it just to that edge. Put my glue down. Now I've got it to where these little points are hanging off. Press that down good. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side over here. Now, I already measured these when I cut them. One side has the little flower, the other has a little circle. So I don't know if I want to alternate them or do them the same. Let's take a look. Uh, We'll do them the same. Make sure everything's glued down up here. And then I'm going to run my glue the same way I did on the other end. Get a nice good stream. And we'll do them the same, I reckon. That's the side I picked up. Make sure I got top or the right side facing up. Now, all I want to do is lift this up some, come across here, and lay that there. Making sure I've got it in place. I'm not worried that I can see white up there. And then we'll do the same down here. And you notice I'm holding it because if I let go, that's going to peel it up off of where it's at. And I don't want that to happen. So. I got that, and now we're going to lay this down and come down both sides. I had a piece of paper towel here somewhere. I'll just get another piece. Because you see how it messes with the top of your glue bottle. Ooh, don't do it that way. <laughs> That'll unscrew the whole top. That would definitely be a mess. All right, I want to check and see where this is not quite adhere to and I'll run some glue under that oh come on now don't pull it under there we go that held there okay come in here with our run right down the edge Now again, I'm being generous with the glue, with the Fabri-Tac, because Fabri-Tac will sink into 
your material. We know when we put a bit too much in some areas, we get the glue showing through our fabric. And I want that to sort of go through any layers that and bind it very well because I don't want this coming up. Get my stream down and then just lay that in place. Now, what I want to do is find out, all right, so this is my front here, and I had, where did I put, oh, here it is. I had cut one of these out. I got glue all over my hands, and I wanted to put it there. Which way is the right way? Now, I don't know if I'm going to do anything else to the... Well, yeah, I am going to do something else to the cover. I do have something else. Well, not to the cover, but to the spine. To sort of dress it up. Get all my glue on there. And lay that down, just like that. Now... I had found a piece of this, and I thought that this would be really, really pretty on the spine. So I'm just nipping through some of the little places that are connected here to separate it. So now I have two. A larger one and a smaller one. What I was thinking was, and seeing that flower will hang over just right there, and then have these right along the spine like that, or, yeah, I like that. So, And I found these digging through those, my drawers of lace. Get a little bit on these so that they stay up, ah, stay down. So, pick this back up. And I want that to go just like that. Get a little centered. That goes there. Now I'm going to turn it around. I need some way to hold this up for a moment. There. That works. And then come in here with my glue on this one. some behind that flower there and then this will go like that with that flower hanging over push that into place and I think for now, this is all I'm going to do to the cover. We may add something later if it, you know, if the fancy strikes us, if we find something that would look good on it. But that's how our cover has turned out. Not bad. I like that. I like the little flower that hangs over the edge there. And then as you open it up, we still have the inside to do. And then we have all of our pages. So this is a start. 
and we're in no hurry to finish it, so we've got time. We have plenty of time. Yep, I like the way that turned out. So, I do have a few things that I have to put away, and that, that may be, you know, the next video, but I'm going to stop this one for here. And if you like the way our cover turned out, if you like what I shared with you today, give me a thumbs up. All those thumbs up help. And hit the subscribe button, the little notification bell, so you'll be notified as we work on this and other little tips and tricks that we have along the way. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.